Hey YouTube, what's going on? So, I thought I would try to see if, uh, you know, re, uh, revamping these, uh, batteries, uh, the same videos you see on YouTube, if it actually works. Um, yeah, I've seen a few different videos on how to zap these things and, uh, see if you can rejuvenate these things, uh, so I just wanted to see if it actually works, so I'll show you how I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to first, uh, well, what I have here is I have an old DeWalt battery, and this is probably, I mean, I got this in the late 90s, so, I mean, this thing has to be 17, 18 years old, so if it's 2015 now, you know, it's got this in probably 97, 98, so that's really old. Um, and this is uh, an old, like, uh, Craftsman 12-volt. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, 9.6, yeah, 9.6 volts, but... Um, and yeah, I've had this one for about six years. Uh, batteries are definitely getting weak on these things. Uh, you know, they don't really hold a charge anymore. So, I mean, they do. If you take them right off the charger, then you can use them, you know, for a couple of minutes. But, you know, after a day, they totally discharge. Um, same thing with the DeWalt, too. So they're actually nightcap batteries. But from what I've seen in the videos, you can, uh, like, zap them with, like, high, high voltage or high amperage. And it will sort of, like, rejuvenate the uh, cells. So what I've read or heard is that the cells they build like a, like, like a crystal, crystalline structure in, inside, so it, it prevents the plates from communicating. Not 100% sure, but uh, I mean I definitely understand like lead acid batteries and sulfation, but I think it's uh, I'm not sure if it's, it's the same thing, but it's, it's pro it sounds like it's pretty similar. So if there's some sort of caked on substance built on these plates, they can't transfer electrons through the cells or whatever. So. All right, I'll show you how I'm going to do this. I mean, I actually have different ways of... I have car batteries I can do this with, but I'm going to show you my... Um, I've got an older, like, larger uh, car charger. Uh, like one of those like, larger uh, old things here. Um, so this actually one has, like, a 35-amp fast charge and a 200-amp engine start, but I think I'm going to try it on the 35-amp because that kind of sketches me out, the 200-amp. Um... All right, so yeah, I'm a little bit uh, yeah, probably end up wearing my welding mask when I do this because I don't want the freaking batteries to blow up. Um, and my welding gloves. So, but the first thing you need to do is you need to figure out the polarity of the battery. You know, what side is positive, what side is negative. So, I'm gonna put this camera down. I'm gonna put it on my tripod, and uh, I'm gonna grab my multimeter and uh, try to figure out which is positive, which is negative. All right. I'm back here, so uh, I need to find the polarity of these things because uh, you don't want to zap this thing with the wrong, wrong polarity. It could uh, mess up the cells or like reprogram the cells. Um, so the first thing I do is uh, take my multimeter and I connect it to the two leads here. And you know, if you're getting a negative, like uh, see that right there. I don't know if you can see that. If you're getting a negative, in front of the number, then you know it's backwards. So, I'm gonna flip it around, and I'm gonna do, hit the leads again in a reverse order. And you know it's correct if you don't see the negative in front of the numbers. So that is the correct polarity. So I know the front lead here is positive and the back pin here is a negative. So I'm gonna mark that just in case because uh, I put a little Sharpie here, I put a plus, I got a negative. Same thing over here that way. In case I wanna do this in the future, I, I know I don't have to do this again. I mean, it would be cool to rejuvenate these batteries, man. Be stoked. Okay, so on the Craftsman, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm trying to see if it's the right angle. Okay. Um, so let me all just move the battery. So on these, the Craftsman, let's see here. So, okay, I know that's the, yeah, I'm kind of cramped here, so I'm trying to get this in the video and so you guys can see it. So I know this is the wrong polarity because I'm hitting the, well, I can get contact, but that's that's the wrong polarity because it's showing the uh, negative. So 
on this Craftsman, I know the back pin is positive and the front pin is negative. So it's the, it's the opposite of the DeWalt battery. So I just want to confirm and double check. Yep. So the, the front is negative and the back is positive. I want to mark that down. Negative. And flip this around. And positive. Okay. And I'll probably eventually rub off, but for now I just don't want to while I'm doing it. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried. I don't think these things are going to explode, but that's gonna, I'm going to wear my welding mask just to, just to make sure because, uh, yeah, that'd be a nightmare. Okay. Okay, so I know the polarity. So what I'm going to do is uh, on the next, uh, I'm going to grab my, my uh, battery charger, hook it up, and I'm going to actually grab two nails. And I put the nails and the leads, and I have a. And I guess I'm gonna tap it a few times. They say like 10, 10 times, you know. Uh, some guy, some people say 10 times, some people say 30 times. I think it depends on the actual amount of amperage and voltage you're giving it, as the amount of times you tap it. So, uh, I think a 12 volt, 30 amp is not that bad. Uh, but also, what I read is that you know, you're supposed to use a higher voltage than when you're trying to uh, in the battery. But I don't know if that really makes sense or not, or if it makes any difference, but. But, all right, next uh, I'm gonna grab the charger. Okay, we're back. I have this thing on a um, on 35 amps, and I guess I'm gonna charge this thing. So I know that the uh, the front is positive and the back is negative. So I have two different nails here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't want to touch it. This fucking puts off a big spark. So if I touch <laughs> 35 amps, so uh, all right, I'm gonna put the negative nail on the negative. And I'm going to tap this 10 times. One. You should see a spark, too. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Do the next battery. Okay. Negative on the back. Positive. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, one more time. Okay, we're good. Wow, it's kind of crazy sparking up through the behind the nail. Alright, so I know this is the opposite. The negatives in the front and the positives in the back, so. I'm gonna okay, put the positive first here, the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's harder to get these ones, like it's the way that thing is positioned. So. I might have to get this a couple more times. Or that, I'm not getting good contact. All right. Next one. So I guess you're supposed to leave these for about. Uh, let's make sure I'm right. Positive, and negative here. Um, you're supposed to leave these for about 30 minutes to let them cool down if they get hot. good so um, I'm gonna um, I mean these actually batteries did hold charge I mean they weren't like uh, totally dead batteries but I was hoping to maybe they kind of like rejuvenate these a little bit better so um, I could start using them again but uh, so I'm gonna let them sit here for about half an hour and uh, then I put them back on the charger and I'm gonna run them for a test and see what happens
But uh, all right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, maybe a couple hours from now. I gotta let him re uh, rest, and then I have to um, put him in the charger. Let him charge. All right, cool. Guys, we're back. Uh, so this one's been charging for probably about um, um, I don't know. I'd say like like four hours, probably five hours. Um, so let's go ahead and give this thing a try. This is the actual one I'm kind of wondering about because this is, I mean, at least 18 years old. So let's see here. Yeah, that feels way stronger than it used to. So yeah, way stronger. This thing would barely even like do nothing. That's awesome. So I think it works. Um, wow. Yeah, that's like huge. This thing actually would barely even move or hold a charge. Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Awesome. I can probably start using this drill again. Um, I'm gonna actually probably do that maybe like maybe like once a week for the next the next month. Yeah, you know, give it those taps just to see if I can uh, rejuvenate this thing even more. So I'm gonna try the try the Craftsman here. Yeah, way, way stronger, man. Yeah, way, way stronger. That's awesome. So, yeah, man, I think this works. So, if you need to fix a battery, a NICAD or, or whatever, you know, um, I think this works. So, I'm going to keep, for the next month, I'm going to keep on doing it once a week. Give it some more taps and uh, see what happens. But, I mean, yeah, this looks like it's, it's going to work, so... All right, cool. Let me know if you have any questions.